Okay, guys, so we are back with our NFL update, and we had a very disturbing injury that happened on Thursday night with quarterback Tua Tagbolia. I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name correctly, but he suffered his second concussion. Now, he just had a concussion the following week, and he went back and played. And then Thursday night uh, with their game against the Cincinnati Bengals, second quarter, he was hit and uh, sacked very hard, in my opinion, unnecessarily rough. It, those players should have been expelled from the game. Excuse me. Um, he had to be carted off on a stretcher. Good news is he looks to be okay. He's been released, but it makes you wonder. I don't know about you, but it seems as though the roughness and the aggressiveness of some of the plays on some teams is really something that the NFL needs to look at especially if a team is falling behind. And it's one thing to sack a quarterback, but you don't have to pick him up and slam him down to the ground. I understand, as we all do, that football is a very physical sport, but there is a fine line between physicality and just being aggressive and rough and trying to hurt someone. And so we're starting to see a lot of injuries related to concussions and um, that type of thing because of this roughness. And so I don't know about you, but I don't like that part of it. I think that the sport along alone is aggressive and physical enough, just falling and running and jumping and all of that, you don't need to add any extra to it. So that's just my opinion. But so moving right along this week, we had a lot of all the teams were playing. Um, it was good week uh, on Sunday. Sunday was good to watch. Uh, it's, I watch the red zone maybe half of the day, and then I'll watch uh, specific games in the other half of the day. But I don't know about you, if you watch red zone all day, you will be exhausted at the end of the day. It's, it's just so much action. It's great, but it's a lot of action. So I encourage you to, to get the red zone, check it out, and, and see how you can watch every single game and know what's happening. In other news, NFL news, um, Brett Favre, and he is no longer with the NFL, but he used to be quarterback with um, Green Bay Packers for a number of years. Well, he's been involved in a scandal as it relates to uh, Mississippi welfare fraud. And so he is denying any knowledge of knowing that the funding he received in the sum of 77 million that he was unaware that this money was uh, misappropriated and the source was um, federal funding to the state of Mississippi. And so that's been in the news. I'm sure you've all have heard about it. So it'll be interesting to see what happens, you know, with that story. Tomorrow we have our new week in football. And uh, what
what is going on? Let's see the schedule. I'll just go over tomorrow's matchup. Minnesota, New Orleans. That's going to be good. Cleveland, Atlanta, Washington, Dallas at Dallas. Uh, Seattle, Seattle at Detroit. Tennessee at Indianapolis. Chicago at New York. And Jacksonville at Philadelphia. New York at Pittsburgh. Buffalo at Baltimore and LA Chargers at Houston, Arizona at Carolina, New England at Green Bay. Whoa, that's going to be a good one at 1.25 p.m. on CBS. That's going to be a great game. Denver at Las Vegas and Kansas City at Tampa Bay. That's going to be a good game as well. That's the late game at 5.20. So, be sure to watch out for that. Monday night, we're going to have the LA Rams at San Francisco. Monday night football is going to be awesome.